अगेन वेरी गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू दी बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रैप दिस इज संजय राठी एंड इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला फ्रॉम ई डी सी दैट इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेज एंड सर्किट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स स्टूडेंट ओके गाइज नो प्लीज लाइक द सेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल शेयर द लिंक ऑफ दिस सेशन एंड सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल राइट नो ऑल फॉर्मूला वन इन वन शॉर्ट दिस इज माई स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्शन एज यू नो I am having around twenty-one plus years of teaching experience. I have qualified and selected for engineering services exam that is conducted by UPSC. These are my ranks: AIR sixteen in ESC two zero zero five and AIR twenty-one in ESC two zero zero eight. I worked as deputy director in Ministry of Power, and then I have mentored more than one lakh students for these competitive exams. And these are my subjects. Now. a uh, very important information for you sir you i am not visible one minute one minute give me one minute what's the problem no i am not visible okay hello okay now i think now everything is fine now i am audible yes or no yes now everything is fine i think okay guys then now i am visible okay Ah, de okay, okay. Uh, today definitely, uh, just uh, uh, I am working on it, and I will upload the PDF of that part one and part two. Okay, Siva, on my Telegram channel that is Electronics by Sanjay Rati, and with the password already I have shared the password with you for first part and second part. And this is my introduction already. I have given you the idea about that. Twenty one years experience, AIR sixteen in ESC two zero zero five and AIR twenty one in ESC two zero zero eight. now this is for you gate test series for gate and esc 2023 at affordable price branch computer science electronics electrical instrumentation mechanical and what civil branch uh one let me know that now the sound uh, i think now everything is fine now okay then second thing uh this is a golden opportunity for you you can get up to 90% of scholarship On preparation program, then you have to give the test on twenty ninth October at eight pm. Right? Please note this date just after Diwali. Okay. So again, happy Diwali, guys. चलिए enjoy करते हैं before Diwali and this time we have to give our best for gate exam as well as for all coming exams. Okay, guys. So syllabus means in this session we will try to cover. first of all semiconductor physics semiconductor physics and this is a very very important topic semiconductor physics means uh, here we will try to cover what is the intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor that is the basic about energy band diagram conduction band valence band fermi level mass action law einstein equation drift current diffusion current low level injection pulse light method dependency of mobility on electric field drift velocity on electric field and effect of temperature on mobility these are all are the important topic law of neutrality we will discuss continuity equation okay and then after that pn junction 
दिस इज द फर्स्ट टॉपिक देन सेकेंड वन इज पी एन जंक्शन इन पी एन जंक्शन आई विल गिव यू द फॉर्मूला अबाउट वॉट बिल्ट इन पोटेंशियल दैट इज दी नॉट देन वी विल डिस्कस ट्रांजिशन कैपेसिटेंस राइट अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड वॉट इज द मैक्सिमम इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट दी जंक्शन एंड देन जंक्शन पोटेंशियल देन आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस डिफ्यूजन कैपेसिटेंस चार्ज कंट्रोल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द डायोड okay this this is about what pn junction and i will give you the formula of forward bias diode current that is i and you will get idea about reverse saturation current i not okay so that is about the pn junction now again in pn junction we will discuss switching times that is reverse recovery time and forward recovery time storage time transition time that is called diode switching time after that bjt bipolar junction transistor in this input and output characteristics input output characteristics breakdown voltages right abers mole model early effect we will discuss all these things and properties of common emitter common collector and common base configuration that is the case or you will get the idea about emitter injection efficiency transport factor and so on then fourth one is mosfet then mos capacitor you will get the idea about the mos capacitor and all the formula related to mos capacitor all the important concept and formula for mos capacitor all right remember that mos capacitor is important topic every year there may be a, uh, some conceptual question on this topic mosfet as well as mos capacitor then special diode special diode in special diodes you will get the idea about zener mechanism and avalanche mechanism and then what uh, pn junction solar cell and led right so we will discuss the formula related to this diode quantum you will get the formula of quantum uh, efficiency and so on a uh, bjt mein confidence nahi aa raha hai sagar roy don't worry about that ek aad din pura ek session mera already available hai on recorded lectures or uh, after diwali we will try to arrange a regular session on that single topics like bjt mosfet one day bjt one day mosfet and one day what other topics so that you will get the idea about all the topics related to bjt don't worry about that koi hawa thodi na they all are very easy topic sabse khatarnak to insaan hai kya hai na usko kon dara sakta hai kyun sagar okay ab dekhiye zara classification of metals first in a semiconductor first point is what is the difference between the metal semiconductor and what insulator very first very quick revision of all this topic first of all classification of metal conductor and what semiconductor conductivity on the basis of conductivity as you know the conductivity of metal is very very high the conductivity of insulator is what zero almost zero and very low and what about the semiconductor the conductivity is between that of metal and that of insulator that is called semiconductor very simple definition now most popularly used semiconductor is germanium and what silicon germanium and what silicon then these two are not used for preparation of led or just uh, right fabrication of what led that is light emitting diode here we are using gallium arsenide germanium silicon then gallium arsenide okay so these are the metal semiconductor and what insulator first in insulator semiconductor metal again classification on the basis of energy band diagram first classification we are having the two band one is conduction band one is called valence band this is called lowest energy level of the conduction band that is called highest energy level of the valence band then in case of insulator the gap between ev and ec is more than 5 electron volt more than 5 electron volt that is called forbidden energy gap 
दैट इज अन्सुलेटर इन केस ऑफ मेटल देर इज ओवरलैपिंग ऑफ राइट वैलेंस बैंड एंड कंडक्शन बैंड और इन केस ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर दिस इज नियरली इक्वल टू वन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट ए सी एंड ईवी नाउ रिमेंबर दिस इज पॉइंट सेवन एट फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट फॉर जर्मेनियम एंड वन पॉइंट टू वन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट फॉर सिलीकॉन एट जीरो डिग्री कैलविन एट जीरो डिग्री कैलविन तो इन इन समाइम्स इन गेट एग्जाम दिस टाइम एम एस क्यू मल्टीपल सेलेक्ट क्वेश्चन तो दे मे आस्क वॉट इज द इजी एट जीरो डिग्री कैलविन पॉइंट सेवन एट फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट फॉर जर्मेनियम एंड वन पॉइंट टू वन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट फॉर सिलीकॉन तो सम स्टूडेंट विल से दैट सर वन पॉइंट वन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट यस दैट इज एट रूम टेम्परेचर वॉट इज द रूम टेम्परेचर ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड दैट इज नोन एज थ्री हंड्रेड डिग्री कैलविन तो वॉट इज द इजी इट विल बिकम वन पॉइंट वन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट और सिलिकॉन एंड इजी इज पॉइंट सेवन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट नियरली इक्वल टू दैट फॉर जर्मेनियम मीन्स वेन टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस एनर्जी बैंड गैप डिक्रीजेस एंड इजी इज इक्वल टू ई सी माइनस ईवी इजी इज इक्वल टू ई सी माइनस ईवी तो दीज आर द वैल्यूज एट जीरो डिग्री कैलवी दैट इज द फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला नाउ नेक्स्ट वन यूर भाई अगर आप इफ यू वॉन्ट द क्विक रिविजन दैन प्लीज स्टे हियर इट इज अराउंड वन एंड हाफ आवर और टू आवर्स राइट फ्रॉम नाइन टू इलेवन and you will get the complete summary of what edc that is electronic devices and circuit now types of the semiconductor types of the semiconductor is what intrinsic semiconductor and what extrinsic semiconductor intrinsic means pure semiconductor that is silicon and germanium but the conductivity of silicon and germanium is very very low and that's why we are doping impurity right that those are called doped semiconductor or impure semiconductor or extrinsic semiconductor so there are two types of impurity one is called donor impurity that is pentavalent and one is called acceptor impurity that is trivalent here n type material this is n type semiconductor and this is what p type semiconductor in intrinsic semiconductor the remember i am giving you the important formula j is equal to what sigma e j is equal to sigma e means j is proportional to e that is the ohm's law and sigma is the conductivity sigma is given by n q mu n plus p q mu p for semiconductor n q mu n plus p q mu p n is the concentration of electron p is the concentration of hole Q is the charge, one point six into ten to power minus nineteen coulomb. That is the value of Q. In some book, it is represented by E. No problem. Mu n is the mobility of electron, and mu p is the mobility of hole. And mu n is greater than mu p. Always remember, mobility of electron is greater than mobility of holes. That is the general formula for conductivity. then this for intrinsic semiconductor the conductivity will become n i q mu n plus n i q mu p because n is equal to p is equal to n i intrinsic carrier concentration therefore n i q mu n plus mu p that is the conductivity so in case of intrinsic semiconductor the conductivity is because of electron as well as because of holes but the contribution of electron is greater than what contribution of hole in this conductivity reason the concentration is same n p is equal to n i but mobility is greater mobility of electron is greater than mobility of holes and that's why the contribution of electron is more very simple reason when we are saying that it is p type then the conductivity is mainly due to holes that is p q mu p p type 
or when we are saying that it is a n type then the conductivity is mainly due to electron n q mu n so some students are confused with the n remember it is not number it is the concentration concentration means per unit volume so what is the unit of n per centimeter cube unit of p per centimeter cube what is the number of electrons per unit volume or what is the number of holes per unit volume that is called concentration okay then that is the structure of what intrinsic semiconductor covalent bonding sharing of the electrons covalent bonding and sharing of electrons okay guys remember that here it is a four in outermost orbit there are four electrons that is a tetravalent now it will share the electron with the neighboring atoms and this is the bond covalent bond next in p type semiconductor that silicon is replaced by what boron boron is a trivalent material that is the outermost orbit we have the three electrons right now because of that one hole is created that is what this that's why it is called p type material okay next one this is a boron is a trivalent material then in n type material this is arsenic pentavalent it will replace the silicon that is the silicon that is the outermost of electron is outer in electron in outermost orbit is four here in outermost orbit electrons are five right it has one extra electrons it will donate the electron and that's why it is converted into n type right so in a trivalent it will accept one electron and that's why that atom is called acceptor atom here it will donate one electron that's why it is called donor ion donor atom okay or donor impurity now this is an important table here what are the important values first of all electronic charge 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb mass of the electron 9.1 into 10 raised to power minus 31 kg so normally we are not using that value that is q by m ratio so sometimes it will save your time for calculation q by m ratio 1.759 into 10 raised to power 11 Planck's constant this is very very important one 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joule second unit is joule second voice voice break or I should say everyone please inform me that it is okay voice not clear again what is the problem give me one minute Now it is fine. Tell me. Now everything is fine. It is not okay. Again, your video is not visible. Give me one minute. Wait for one minute. I think now everything is fine. Okay. just I have started uh, we have to discuss number of formula video is blur now please inform me that everything is fine okay give me comments 
all good thank you now so these are the important values of electronic charge electronic mass ratio of q by m that is q by m planck's constant another one is boltzmann constant normally it is represented by k or k bar 1.381 into 10 raised to power minus 23 joule per kelvin or here it is another boltzmann constant that is in what electron volt 8.620 into 10 raised to power minus 5 electron volt so some students are confused with the electron volt remember that it is a unit of energy that is electron volt it is nothing but this e is replaced by what q so 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 joule right 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 joule so that is the value of one electron volt so what is the meaning of one joule 1 joule is equal to 1 divided by 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 and that will give you the number of electron volt number of electron volt so similarly in a Boltzmann constant 1.381 into 10 days to power minus 23 that is joule per kelvin so what is the one joule is equivalent to this much electron volt so 1.38 into 10 days to power minus 23 divided by 1.6 into 10 days to power minus 19 that is converted into electron volt per degree kelvin divide this value and you will get this this one last one 8.620 into 10 raised to power minus 5 electron volt per degree Kelvin. So, no need to mug up. No need to mug up the concept. Simple, remember that. So, 1 electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 joule, and that is the value in electron volt per degree Kelvin. It is in joule per degree Kelvin. Now, epsilon naught. Normally, we are using the epsilon naught that is 8.854 into 10 raised to power minus 12 farad per meter. And in number of cases, we are not using farad per meter. We are using what? 8.854 into 10 raised to power minus 14 farad per centimeter. So, normally we are using farad per centimeter. So, remember you have to change 10 raised to power minus 14 farad per centimeter. That is for free space. And then I will uh, share the another values epsilon r and epsilon naught for germanium and silicon and so on. Next one, the mobility and electric field. So that will be available to you in the form of PDF, don't worry, but you have to attend the class so that you will get the idea how to use this formula, okay? How to use all these formula. No, 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 Ravi. Normally, we are not using farad per meter. In electronic devices, normally we are using farad per centimeter. Why farad per centimeter? Because all the doping concentration are given in what? Na is given in what? Na is given in per centimeter cube. Nd given in per centimeter cube. Psi is normally given in centimeter. That's why epsilon naught we are using 8.854 into 10 raised to power minus 14 farad per centimeter so be careful mobility centimeter what is the unit of the mobility centimeter square per volt second again here we are using the centimeter so in a 90 percent case we are using what centimeter square or centimeter Okay, so sometimes students are highly confused. For example, one micrometer, that is 10 to the power minus 6 meter. But what is the one micrometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 centimeter. Right, then please try to understand all this because quickly we have to use all this. What is Armstrong? What is this? Meter. Very small thing but very important thing. Is equal to what? 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter and so on. These are the units of the length. Okay. Next one. Mobility and electric field. Uh, as you know, drift velocity is proportional to what E. 
and drift velocity is equal to what mu n mu into e where the constant of proportionality is what mu that is called mobility okay but when we are increase again voice break uh, बीच बीच में हो रहा है अभी बताओ साउंड क्वालिटी अभी ठीक है क्या गिव मी वन मिनट यार इसको थोड़ा सा ठीक कर लिया जाए क्या प्रॉब्लम है नॉट टेल मी दैट इज एवरीथिंग इज फाइन नाउ यस प्लीज सर ऑल गुड प्लीज रिफ्रेश योर सिस्टम देन इफ यू फाइंड एनी डिफिकल्टी देन प्लीज रिफ्रेश योर सिस्टम okay all good okay then uh in a semiconductor as field intensity increases drift first of all mu d but what will happen that initially the mobility is independent of e that is independent of e up to e is equal to what 10 to the power 3 volt per centimeter after that mobility is proportional to 1 by root e for e between 10 to the power 3 is less than e is less than 10 to the power 4 volt per centimeter and after that mu is proportional to 1 by e for e greater than 10 to the power 4 volt per centimeter these are the values so if the mu is not independent and that's why in this range in this range vd increases linearly linearly with electric field in this range vd increases sub linearly why since mu is proportional to 1 by root e that's why now the vd is proportional to root e now here the mu is proportional to 1 by e that's why vd is independent of e or here the vd will become constant that is called saturated drift velocity saturated drift velocity so it is the highest velocity drift velocity saturated drift velocity or highest velocity so that is the case so this is the diagram so up to this range mobility is constant independent of the electric field after that 1 by root e it is proportional to 1 by root e and now it is proportional to 1 by e so decreases again decreases this is the increases linearly then sub linearly and after that it will become constant and that is called saturated drift velocity this is the saturated drift velocity so that is the curve mobility and electric field right again watch this we are calculating the electric field what is the unit volt per centimeter So, because the size of the conductor, this is in the range of what centimeter? It is not in the range of meter. The size of the conductor, it is in the range of what centimeter? Cross sectional area and so on. Or in case of MOSFET, the size in what? In the range what micrometer? In the uh, in case of MOSFET, that is in size. It is in centimeter, and that's why. Now. effect of temperature and doping watch this diagram carefully uh in engine uh, electronic devices and circuit there will definitely there will be question on this now we have approximately one range here around 100 degree kelvin before this right it is a log scale right when he, we are moving here temperature increases watch this diagram when i am moving from left to right first of all the mobility increases mobility increases with the temperature and after that it will reach to a maximum value and after that it will decreases it will decrease the so actual curve is like this this is the curve okay it will reach to maximum at this point after that it will start decreasing so there are two effects 
वन इज कॉल्ड इंप्योरिटी स्कैटरिंग एंड अदर वन इज कॉल्ड लेटिस स्कैटरिंग तो एट लो टेम्परेचर इंप्योरिटी स्कैटरिंग डोमिनेट और एट हाई टेम्परेचर लेटिस स्कैटरिंग डोमिनेट ओके तो बिकॉज ऑफ लेटिस स्कैटरिंग द मोबिलिटी विल डिक्रीजेस वेन वी आर इंक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर वी आर इंक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर मोबिलिटी विल डिक्रीज रिमेंबर दैट इन दिस केस वेन वी आर डिक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर वेन वी आर डिक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर द मोबिलिटी विल डिक्रीज तो हियर डिक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर मोबिलिटी डिक्रीजेस दैट इज कॉल्ड इंप्योरिटी स्कैटरिंग एंड इट इज नियरली बिलो वॉट टी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड डिग्री कैलविन एंड द टेम्परेचर इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू हंड्रेड डिग्री कैलविन अप्रोक्सीमेट वैल्यू or when the temperature is greater than 100 degree kelvin temperature increases mobility decreases lattice scattering so normally we are dealing with the uh, devices at which temperature 300 degree kelvin that is at room temperature so we are saying that when temperature increases normally mobility decreases right mobility decreases so that is the case okay sir Directly proportional. Okay, what is the directly proportional, my dear? Here, here. First of all, that drift velocity is directly proportional to what e, and mobility is independent. So, in second case, if the mobility depend upon one by root e, or it depends upon e, so what is this? V d is proportional to what root e. That is the change. So here it is increases linearly. Here it is increases sublinearly. And third one, Vd is proportional to mu is proportional to one by e and into e. So e e cancel. It is constant. It is independent of what? It is independent of electric field. I think that is clear. So mobility is constant decreases then again decreases with increase in e. Increases linearly, sublinearly, and it will become constant. Saturated drift velocity. Mu d uh, v d is equal to mu e means what? Yes, that is the formula. V d is equal to. I am giving the proportionality that v d is equal to mu e. Okay. That is the formula. right now this is about the temperature then watch this diagram carefully again at room temperature 300 degree kelvin right suppose uh, we are saying that uh, impurity scattering will not affect the system at uh, 300 degree kelvin because it is effective at low temperature but no no right so first of all you have to get the result my dear in a gate uh, gate exam you have to score the rank right uh, you have to got uh, right see so give the gate get the good rank get the good score and then we can fill the form for what psus okay hariharan sometimes they will conduct interview for you or sometime written test okay watch this this is the mobility of electron always remember the mobility of electron is greater than mobility of holes so this is the mobility this graphs all the graphs are very very important in electronic devices always one or two question from graphs so this is the graph this is the 1000 this is the 500 and it is at room temperature that is the 300 degree kelvin 300 degree kelvin what is the doping only 10 to the power 14 when we are increasing the doping in this direction 10 to the power 14 10 to the power 15 10 to the power 16 17 18 or 19 then the mobility decreases from 1000 more than 1000 around 1200 it decreases up to what 100 that is the change in mobility 10 times or this is the from 500 it is reduced up to what 50 again 10 times So that is the change in the mobility of electron as well as change in the mobility of holes when we are increasing the uh, impurity concentration. That is, N D increases, mobility of electron decreases. Right? Remember, this is a very very important formula. N A increases, mu P increases, mu P decreases. Exactly at three hundred degree Kelvin. 
So sometimes we are thinking that when we are increasing the concentration, then definitely the conductivity will increase, no doubt. Conductivity depends upon two things, sigma and q mu n. So it depends upon the concentration. So when we are increasing the ND, definitely the concentration will increase, conductivity will increase. But when we are increasing the ND, what is the side effect? Mobility will decrease. When the mobility will decrease, conductivity will decrease. So ultimately we have to check what about the product. If the product increases, then conductivity increases. If the product decreases, if the product decreases, then conductivity what? Decreases. And that is the difference between what? Thermistor and sensistor. That is the difference between thermistor and sensistor. In a thermistor, the doping is normal. Means it is a lightly doped semiconductor. Or in sensistor, highly doped semiconductor. And that's why when we are saying that what about the temperature and what is the effect of that, then we have to consider the product of mobility and concentration. Okay. So that is the, uh, I will explain you the thermistor and sensistor. So that is the case. Remember this graph is very important. Already one question in gate exam, previous year question paper you can watch on this diagram. Okay. Now, law of mass action. It is a written content, but here watch that is simple NP is equal to what? Ni square, where N is the concentration of electron, P is the concentration of free holes. Ni square that is called intrinsic carrier concentration is given by A naught T cube e raised to power minus Eg0 by Kt. Eg0 is the energy energy gap energy, uh, sorry, gap energy exactly at 0 degree Kelvin. Energy band gap at 0 degree Kelvin. K is the Boltzmann constant, T is the temperature. If Eg0 is in electron volt, if Eg0 is in electron volt, then you have to put the Boltzmann constant in electron volt per degree Kelvin. That is the value. Now, in N type, according to mass action law, always remember we are saying Nd. So, what is the concentration of electron? Minority carrier concentration that is given by Ni square by N or Ni square by Nd. That is the formula. Very easy. In P type, what is the concentration of hole Na? What is the concentration of electron? Ni square by P that is Ni square by N according to mass action law. Normally, we are using this formula. Normally, we are using this formula. Or in P type, majority carrier is hole and minority carrier is electron. Now, law of neutrality means positive charge, concentration of the positive charge is equal to what? Concentration of negative charge. An intrinsic or extrinsic semiconductor is electrically neutral. Whether it is P type or N type or intrinsic type, all are electrically neutral. And that's why the concentration of positive charge is equal to concentration of negative charge. ND it is called donor ion. It is a positive charge that is represented by this one. Hole that is represented by this symbol. It is again a positive charge. Na that is the acceptor ion trivalent uh, because of trivalent atom that is the negative charge. And electron is represented by dot that is again a negative charge. So concentration of positive charge is equal to concentration of negative charge. That is the value. Okay. So that is the these are the important formula related to this one. Now Fermi direct function or that is the Fermi distribution function. Okay. That is important formula. This is this is give the probability of finding an electron at a particular energy level. That is the Fe 1 upon 1 plus E. E minus EF by KT. Here E is the energy level, EF is the Fermi energy level, K is the Boltzmann constant, T is the temperature. This is the important formula. FE represents the probability of electron to occupy a certain energy level. E is the energy of the state. With the help of this formula, we can find the probability of finding an electron at this particular energy of the state. 
ईएस इज द फर्मी एनर्जी लेवल और कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एनर्जी एंड इफ फॉर एनी क्रिस्टल एक्सैक्टली एट ई इज इक्वल टू ई एफ फॉर इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी सपोज आई एम पुटिंग ई इज इक्वल टू ई एफ देन इट विल बिकम ई रेस टू पावर जीरो दैट इज नथिंग बट वन बाई टू फॉर एनी टेम्परेचर इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द टेम्परेचर फॉर द क्रिस्टल ईज इक्वल टू ई एफ देन एफ इज पॉइंट फाइव फॉर एनी वैल्यू ऑफ टेम्परेचर any value of temperature now it is also called as fermi dirac probability function or fermi energy density function it specify the fraction of all state at energy e occupied under thermal equilibrium condition so there may be msq on it msq multiple select question At t equal to zero degree Kelvin, E minus E F is less than zero. E is less than E F. So what will be the probability? You can check the probability when I am putting, for example, exactly at zero degree Kelvin. What this formula? When I am putting zero degree Kelvin, and if the E is less than E F, then it will become E raised to power minus is finite, and probability will be one. you can write like this e is less than ef that's why we can write ef minus e divided by kt and what is the t 0 degree kelvin and that's why e raised to power minus infinite this is 0 and the probability is 1 for t 0 degree kelvin e minus ef if it is less than 0 For e less than e f, the probability is exactly equal to what one according to the formula. Similarly, for e greater than e f, at zero degree Kelvin, you can find the probability e minus e f by zero. This will become one upon one plus e raised to power infinite, and that is nothing but zero. That is the graph. Zero probability one. This is the graph exactly at zero degree Kelvin. When we are increasing the temperature, the probability of finding an electron at this point decreases, and probability of finding electron at this portion increases. That is the above energy level. So this is the graph with the temperature T one, and that is the graph with the temperature T two. That is the T two is greater than T one. So this is the this is a graph related to what Fermi direct distribution function. Okay. So they may ask some questions on this, but now concentration of electron concentration. This uh, last year one question on this formula. Remember that. they will give you the value of nc and so on so n concentration of electron is given by nc e raised to power minus ec minus ef by kt that is the formula in exponential term n nc that is called density of state in conduction band e raised to power minus ec minus ef where ef is the fermi energy level upon kt upon kt that is the concentration of electron then this is similarly the concentration of hole is given by nv e raised to power minus ef minus ev by kt ef minus ev by kt where density of state in valence band nv okay so they will provide you the data what is the value of nv and what is the value of nc or they will give you the relation between nv and nc so you can use this formula and you can find the concentration of hole or concentration of electron right now with the help of these two formula first one and second one right we can get the Uh, what is the difference between the fermi level and what conduction band what is the difference between the fermi level and what valence band that is ef and ev or ef and ec we can find with the help of 
this formula now finally in intrinsic semiconductor fermi level ef is given by that is the formula how we can find this then the, there was one question on this last year this is the ev ec this is the middle level ev by 2 ec right so for intrinsic semiconductor ec plus ev by 2 minus kt by 2 log of nc by nv you have to remember that formula nc by nv to so exactly when nc and nv are not same then fermi level is not in the, just in the middle of what forbidden gap energy level this is called eg forbidden energy gap it is not in the middle exactly not in the middle that is the formula you have to subtract kt by 2 log of nc by nv and you will get exact location of fermi level for intrinsic semiconductor but normally in numerical it is nc or nv is given when the effective mass of electron and holes are equal the log of one will become zero in that case ef is equal to ec plus ev by 2 ec plus ev by 2 remember this formula this is important one it is a formula one series and that's why my dear quick revision of all the formula right so please revise all this formula and you can make also short notes of all this then next one for n type semiconductor n is nearly equal to nd we are giving donor impurity then ev ec intrinsic fermi level now that is the fermi level ef intrinsic fermi level we can say this is the ec ev sorry ef i conduction band valence band then the gap between ef and efi this gap is given by kt log of na by nd by ni kt log of nd by ni normally we are having question on that what is the gap ef minus efi that is given by kt log of nd by ni okay and then second one for p type p is equal to na this is the intrinsic fermi level and that is the exact formula level here this is efp for p type ev efi and that is ec conduction band valence band and this gap is given by kt log of na by ni and a by and i and i is the intrinsic carrier concentration okay to so, hello karan how are you after long time bhai dekho zara ek bar aap log dipavli is dipavli mein sabhi dhyan dijiyega 
कि आपको अगेन कंसंट्रेट करना है एक रिजोल्यूशन लीजिएगा दो दिन आराम से घूम फिर कर आइए राइट और उसके बाद बिल्कुल भिड़ जाइए और साथ में इस बार आपको अपना सब कुछ लगा देना है रिजल्ट की परवाह नहीं करना है राइट तो डोंट वरी अबाउट द रिजल्ट बस आप डायरेक्शन में पढ़ाई करते रहिए और सिस्टमेटिक ढंग से नोट्स बनाते रहिए याद रखिएगा बहुत ज्यादा पढ़ना मतलब हार्डवर्क करना जरूरी नहीं है अगर गेट में आप टॉप करना चाह रहे तो आपको स्मार्टली वर्क करना पड़ेगा कौन कौन से टॉपिक कौन से फॉर्मूला कौन से आ, क्या चीजें इंपॉर्टेंट है और एक्चुअली एग्जाम हॉल में कैसे अप्लाई करना है ये ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है ओके तो वैसे तो पढ़ने के लिए बहुत कुछ है वेरी गुड इवनिंग इला हाउ आर यू देन दिस इज द पी टाइप दिस इज द एन ए तो दैट इज द के टी लॉग ऑफ एन ए बाई एन आई दैट इज द गैप नाउ करेंट वी आर हैविंग टू टाइप्स ऑफ करेंट नॉर्मली वी आर डीलिंग विद द ड्रिफ्ट and in what diffusion drift means under the influence of electric field and diffusion current basically because of concentration gradient so what is the concentration gradient here so that is we are having normal uh, we are uh, we are expressing uh, we are expressing the current in what in the form of current density so what is the current density j is equal to i by a j is equal to what i by a again What is the unit ampere per centimeter square? Ampere per centimeter square. That is called current density. So, what is the drift and what is the diffusion? So, that is the drift current density. J is equal to sigma e. That is the drift current for metal. It is given by n q mu n into e. that n q is called volume charge density remember that that is the volume charge density rho this is the rho and the unit is coulomb per centimeter cube or per meter cube rho and mu n into e is called drift velocity And that's why the j is represented by rho vd rho vd sometimes direct question on this formula rho vd okay that is called drift current density but in case of uh, semiconductor we have electron as well as hole then simply you can represent already i have given j is equal to sigma e and what is the sigma n q mu n into e that is the j Plus P Q mu P into E. That is for semiconductor. Okay. Yes, Kumar. Karan. Ha. You are in second year. So, I can how to prepare? This is also a big question. Ki what is the right time to start for gate twenty twenty or twenty four or twenty five? बस आप uh, मतलब जो भी आपके सेमेस्टर में सब्जेक्ट है फॉर एग्जांपल इफ द नेटवर्क और डिजिटल और कंट्रोल राइट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेस तो दीज आर द सब्जेक्ट इन योर सेमेस्टर एज वेल एज मैथ्स वन मैथ्स टू मैथ्स थ्री और एप्टीट्यूड तो गो विद ऑल दिस सब्जेक्ट राइट फॉर सेमेस्टर एग्जाम एज वेल एज फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड डोंट वरी अबाउट द अदर सब्जेक्ट ओके सिंपली फोकस ऑन सेमेस्टर एग्जाम और इन सब्जेक्ट को तैयार करो कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स के लिए जो जो भी कॉमन सब्जेक्ट है आपके सेमेस्टर में और अभी मेरे ख्याल से सेकेंड ईयर में ऑलरेडी स्टार्ट हो जाता है सर्किट थ्योरी नेटवर्क और बहुत सारे सब्जेक्ट ऐसे होंगे जो सिलेबस में कॉमन है तो पहले गेट का सिलेबस ईएस का सिलेबस प्रॉपरली देख लीजिए एंड देन उसके हिसाब से आप अपनी तैयारी स्टार्ट कर दीजिए तो दो साल में बहुत अच्छे से जो भी आपका फर्स्ट ईयर में है स्टूडेंट या सेकेंड ईयर में है या थर्ड ईयर में तो थर्ड ईयर वाला स्टूडेंट तो एलिजिबल है लेकिन सेकेंड ईयर स्टूडेंट को लगता है कि कई बार ये बहुत जल्दी प्रिपरेशन तो नहीं हो गई तो आप एडवांस मत जाइए जो भी आपके सेमेस्टर और गेट में कॉमन सब्जेक्ट है उनको पहले तैयार करो सेमेस्टर में भी अच्छा परफॉर्म करोगे कॉलेज वाले भी खुश रहेंगे प्रोफेसर भी आपसे खुश रहेंगे राइट right? और प्रैक्टिकल भी कीजिए और साथ में प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन भी बनाते रहिए ताकि आपको आइडिया लग जाएगा कैसे क्वेश्चन आते हैं ओके okay? और एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है मैथ एंड एप्टीट्यूड मैथ और एफ टी मिला के यार ट्वेंटी एट मार्क्स का आ जाता है तो कोशिश कीजिए कि ये ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एट मार्क्स तो फिक्स कर लो ये तो सेकेंड ईयर तक फिक्स हो जाता है मैथ्स एंड एफ उसके बाद 
go for remaining marks okay so that is the simple strategy okay these are the formula next one this is about the drift current already i have given you the formula now diffusion current so what is this is a very important concept here diffusion current remember that number of questions on this diagram and so on so please watch this if suppose this is the whole concentration here the concentration is very high here the concentration is low then what will happen this is in x direction this is positive x direction and that is the y axis in our y axis we are representing the concentration on x axis we are representing the distance so here it is a higher concentration here it is a lower concentration there is a concentration gradient and the hole will move from higher concentration to lower concentration when a hole are moving from higher concentration to lower concentration definitely current will be in the same direction but when the current is in the same direction why we are putting the minus sign here why we are putting minus sign here because j is equal to i by a and it is given minus q dp dp by dx minus q that is in formula we are using minus so some students are saying that it is a minus it is the charge is negative and so on. no 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 the value of q is simple 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb So when we are putting the minus sign means uh, watch this diagram right let linear decrease in the concentration concentration at this point is 1000 and the concentration at this point become 100. that the distance at this point that is 0 or the distance at this point is 10 centimeter tell me what is the slope of this line what is the slope of this line so we are saying that slope will become slope is negative so 100 minus 1000 that is called concentration gradient p2 minus p1 upon x2 minus x1 100 minus 1000 divided by 10 minus 0, it will become minus 900 divided by 10 minus 90. So, we are getting the dp by dx negative. When the dp by dx is negative, this q is the positive value, dp is the diffusion constant or diffusion coefficient. When we are putting this value, you will get the positive value here. You are going to get the positive value. And what is the meaning of the positive value? That meaning is that current is in positive x direction. Yes, it is a higher concentration, it is a lower concentration. Definitely the hole will move in x direction and current will be in the same direction. Move from higher concentration to lower concentration and current will be in the same direction. So, we are putting negative signs so that numerical value will be positive means current is in positive x direction if we are getting the negative negative answer means current is in negative x direction so that is the meaning of this formula okay i think now it is clear this is an important one number of questions on this similarly for electron we are using j is equal to q dn dn by dx Okay, so no doubt it is a positive, but it depends upon the concentration dn by dx. Okay, so that is the formula for electron and hole diffusion current density. So here, this is for electron Q or E, same thing. Right. Next one, Einstein relation, 
dn by mu n is equal to dp by mu p is equal to vt that is vt is the volt equivalent of temperature that is given by kt by q already i have given you the value of k q and t you will find the vt is equal to 0 0.0259 volt at 300 degree kelvin so it is nearly equal to t by 11600 volt or we are using Vt is equal to nearly equal to 25 millivolt at 298 degree Kelvin or 25 degree centigrade. Normally we are using these two values Vt 26 millivolt at or 25 millivolt. In gate exam normally 25 millivolt is given that is at 25 degree centigrade and that is the Einstein equation. Now pulse light method. Pulse light method uh, from this we are simply giving the light at this point new whole electron pair is generated at this point generation rate and recombination rate will become equal and that is why after that it will saturate now the light is turned off now the concentration will start decreasing with the help of pulse light method we can find Right, uh, we can find what mean lifetime that is tau p or tau n. In this exponentially decreasing function, what is the equation here? After that, this is the t equal to 0. At this point, light is off. We are moving with the time. With the time, the concentration of hole is given by thermally generated charge carrier, that is, it is a n type bar plus excess hole concentration exactly at t equal to 0 e raised to power minus t by tau p where tau p is called mean life time right so with the help of pulse light method we can find the mean life time that is important one and remember this equation remember this equation then it is function of time this is the pulse light method, whole concentration and these are the formula e raised to power minus t by tau p. Second one is called injected minority charge carriers. Right, in injected number of questions on this diagram. Uh, electronics and telecommunication, what is the doubt? Uh, sir. Every time I have doubt between the electron volt and volt in case of Einstein relation, please clear. Okay. What is that? What is your doubt? My dear, dp by mu n is equal to dp by mu p. It is a Vt. So here we are using Vt in volt only. Right. Remember that. Dn, diffusion constant. Mu n, mobility is equal to what vt remember what is the unit of the mobility centimeter square per volt second when it is multiplied with the volt so what is the unit of the dn diffusion constant is mu n into vt so volt volt cancel and the unit is centimeter square per second that is the unit of diffusion constant or diffusion Coefficient. Why you are using the electron volt here? Electronics and telecommunication engineer, that is clear. So why you are using? No doubt, in an energy gap, sometimes it is confusion. When we are saying that this is the Fermi level or when we are calculating the gap, no doubt, there is a, some confusion by or we are using kt by q or kt. So very simple, uh, when it is multiplied with the q, it is converted into electron volt. We are not putting the value of q. If suppose we are putting the value of q 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 then it is converted into what joule right for example if some simply i am multiplying with what vt is equal to q or something else that v is multiplied with the q so that unit is converted into what electron volt because we are not putting the value of q once you are going to put the value of q that is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb then it is converted into what joule Okay, so we will solve some numericals on that or formula injected minority carrier. We are giving the radiation at this point. 
and this is the n type bar that is the distance in x new whole electron pair is generated here now the hole will move from higher concentration to lower concentration there will be the recombination and in a open circuit bar the current will be zero because of this radiation there is a development of internal electric field that is the value you are saying that vt that kt where vt is in volt and kt is in electron volt okay you are saying that one minute i am going to explain you no problem <coughs> One minute, give me one minute. First of all, watch this. Simply, you are saying that, sir, I am VT. Oh, that is the confusion. Okay. You can put it in what? If suppose you are putting in electron volt, then no need to put the value of Q here. Q, Q will cancel out. And you will get the directly T by 11,600. First of all, go through the table. Use the value of K in electron volt per degree Kelvin. Kelvin, Kelvin is cancel out. This E and that Q is cancel out and you will get the answer. That is 11,600. Okay. Second thing. Second. If suppose you are going to put the K in what? Joule per degree Kelvin. My dear, put the K in Joule per degree Kelvin, but you have to put the value of the Q also. You have to put, if you suppose you are putting the K Joule per degree Kelvin, it should be divided by what? 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 into T. And then K in Joule per degree Kelvin, then you will get the same answer that is T by 11,600 in both the cases. If you are putting in terms of electron volt, then simply this E or Q is cancelled out by this Q. No need to write the value of Q and you will get the answer. Okay. Now I think it is clear. That is the low level injection and that is the diagram my dear. This is called excess hole concentration. This is called minority charge carrier here. And this is important formula. P naught plus P dash 0. This is the excess hole concentration e raised to power minus x by Lp. Where Lp is called diffusion length. Diffusion length for holes. So, this is the diagram. So, in number of cases we have to use this diagram to find the diffusion current. Okay. That is the value. So, remember that. It is with respect to a distance. With respect to distance. Now, Hall effect. Uh, with the Hall effect, we can find whether the semiconductor is P-type or N-type, right? With the Hall effect, here we are giving the magnetic field that is B. In X direction, there is a current I. And because of this B and I, there will be the force in the downward direction that is F. And with the help of this, we can find whether it is N-type or P-type. We can also get the value of N that is the concentration or P. We can also find the mobility of majority charge carrier that is mu N or mu P. If it is P type then we can find P then we can find mu P. If it is N type then we can find the concentration as well as mu N that is the majority charge carrier. Okay. Remember that it is not used for minority charge carrier. It is used for what majority charge carrier. We can find the mob mobility of majority charge carrier Hall effect. Then what are the application that is they may ask MSQ Hall effect multiplier first. Second right magnetic field meter. Magnetic field meter. These are the application of what? Hall effect. Hall effect multiplier. Second one is magnetic field meter. We can design with the help of Hall effect. Now there are two types of semiconductor. One is called direct band gap semiconductor and another one is called indirect band gap semiconductor. So direct band gap semiconductor means gallium arsenide. 
and we are using it for LED light emitting diode because when electron come from conduction band to valence band it will recombine with the hole then it will give the energy in the form of light or in case of indirect band gap when the electron switch it will give the energy in the form of heat for example germanium and what silicon that's why germanium and silicon are not used to fabricate led that is light emitting diode so these are the property of what silicon and germanium these are the property of silicon and germanium first of all what uh, which property are important for competitive exams first atomic number okay 32 and 14 tetravalent atomic weight not required density is not required dielectric constant yes 16 12 sometimes it is used 11.7 for silicon mm, atom per centimeter square per centimeter cube that is normally given in the question eg not yes it is required 0 0.785 1.21 then at room temperature eg not become 0 0.72 or 1.1 electron volt intrinsic carrier concentration sometimes it is given in the question sometimes it is not given in the question then you have to use the standard value 2.5 into 10 to power 13 for germanium and 1.5 into 10 to power 10 for silicon that is, these are the important values and again intrinsic resistivity that is normally given in the question for germanium resistivity is very small for silicon intrinsic resistivity is very very high mobility always remember this is for germanium 3800 1300 mobility of electron is greater than what mobility of holes watch this what is the mobility of holes 1800 what was the mobility of electron 3800 for germanium this is the mu p mu n is greater than mu p similarly what is the mobility of silicon uh, electron mobility of electron in case of silicon 1300 and what is this 500 for holes that is for silicon and that is for germanium so you can find the ratio of that between 2 and 3 that mu n by mu p is between 2 and 3 then diffusion constant Okay, and that is normally it is given in the question. Power handling capability of germanium is low, power handling capacity of silicon is high. That is a very simple formula. PDF will be available to you. So, that is the important properties and so on. Okay. Next. This is the continuity equation. It is based on law of conservation of charge. Based on law of conservation of charge. Okay. So, remember that is the formula. The rate of change of concentration is given by 1 by Q. That is the current density upon dh. That is the rate of change of the current density with respect to distance. Plus generation rate minus recombination rate. You have to use this formula continuity equation second similarly for whole continuity equation dp by dt is equal to minus 1 by q djp by dx plus generation rate minus recombination rate where g and r represent the carrier generation and recombination rates these equations require models for mobility and recombinations along with models of contact and boundaries that is a very very important formula from the continuity equation remember that last year in 2022 one question on continuity equation already i have given the solution please go through that this is a very very important question on continuity equation in 2020 gate 2022 okay okay then how to apply this formula you will get the idea now we will enter into what? This is all about the semiconductor physics. Now we will enter into what? PN junction. 
पी एन जंक्शन पी टाइप एन टाइप सिंपल वी आर टेकिंग वॉट सिंगल सेमी कंडक्टर बार एंड वन साइड वी आर गिविंग एन ए डोपिंग अदर साइड वी आर गिविंग एन डी डोपिंग एंड दैट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू पी एन जंक्शन वेन वी हियर वी आर गिविंग द एन ए डोपिंग हियर वी आर गिविंग द एन डी डोपिंग इट इज अ सिंगल सेमी कंडक्टर बार कोई फेविकॉल का जोड़ नहीं है ना याद रखिएगा इट विल एक्सेप्ट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड क्रिएट होल्स इट विल डोनेट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड बिकम पॉजिटिव आय right so this is the case this is the na that is what p type and this is what nd type the concentration of hole in this region is very very high the concentration of electron in this region is very very high there is there is a metallurgical boundary between p and n type there is no physical boundary there is a metallurgical boundary right now Here only na that is uh, number of things are not mentioned in the syllabus. Okay, they are simply giving what semiconductor physics, intrinsic semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor. Okay, na chiket. So for last two years there was uh, last last to last years there was some question on Hall effect. No doubt it is not mentioned, but in a semiconductor physics, if suppose we are going to get one question, then it will be in syllabus. Okay, that is the way. There. So negative, 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 and that is the positive Na. This is a large hole concentration. Then initially, in an open circuit bar, what will happen? The concentration of hole is very high. The concentration of electron uh, a hole in this region is very low. Concentration of electron in this region is very high. The concentration of electron in this region is very low. Therefore, initially the hole will move in this direction, from higher concentration to lower concentration. Electron will move in this direction. From higher concentration to lower concentration, and because of this, the current will be in the same direction, I P and I N, and that is called diffusion current. But in a open circuit bar, there will be no current, right? And to stop this diffusion, built-in potential will develop, and that built-in potential is given by V B I. This is the built-in potential because of this uncovered immobile charge carriers. right in a space charge region we are developing a immobile charge carriers right there is a recombination of hole and electron then in a, that creation of the depletion region in depletion region only immobile charge carrier exist because of this electric field develop the direction of the electric field is this from this point to this point and there is a built in potential So what is the formula for the built-in potential? V naught or V B I that is given by V T log of N A N D by N I square. This is the built-in potential. Okay, so remember that formula. Second. this is the space charge region here we are having the negative charge that is negative ions here we are having the positive ions and this is called space charge region the direction of electric field is from positive to negative it will force the hole in this direction in opposite direction and diffusion will because of diffusion hole will move from left to right and because of that electric field hole will move uh, try to move from right to left similarly electric field force on the electron in this direction left to right and because of diffusion the force will be from right to left they will cancel each other and in a open circuit bar what will be the current zero that is given in the direction and so on now what is the formula and uh, diffusion capacitance and transition capacitance now i'm i will give the formula first of all i is equal to 
I not e raised to power v by eta v t minus one. That is the formula for forward bias diode. This is the voltage across the diode v. Eta identity factor one for germanium, two for silicon for rated current. If in any question high current is mentioned, then it is one for both germanium and silicon. If high current is mentioned, it is for rated current. Then I not that is called reverse saturation current, and it is given by by N. That is the formula for reverse saturation current. I not. It doubles for every ten degree rise in temperature, and that's why at any temperature it is given by two to the power T one minus T by ten. That is the formula for reverse saturation current. Right? V T already we have idea about that K T by Q. That is T by eleven thousand six hundred volt. T by eleven thousand six hundred volt. This is exponentially increasing function. So remember some questions on that on reverse saturation current. That is the formula. First of all, we have to find the reverse saturation current by using this formula. Here, dP is the diffusion constant or diffusion coefficient for hole. dN is the diffusion coefficient or diffusion constant for electron. LP is called diffusion length. dP ln it is called diffusion Length for electron. This is for hole. And what is the relation? Lp is equal to root over dp tau p. Tau p is the mean lifetime of hole. Ln is equal to root over dn tau n. Dn tau n. That is the formula. When we are saying that what is the p n naught? This is the minority charge carrier. That is given by n i square by n d. And what is the NP naught? That is given by N I square by N A. N I square by N A. These are the important formula. Okay. If you have any doubt, then you can ask. It is a quick revision of all the formula. That is about the diode. Now. Second important thing: when the diode is reverse biased, there is a transition capacitance. There is what transition capacitance? Depletion layer increases. Depletion layer increases. This side, this is called W N. This side it is called WP, diffusion length on P side, diffusion length on N side, and because of this, when we are increasing the reverse voltage, depletion layer increases, and therefore there is a change in charge. When there is a change in charge, always there is capacitance, change in charge because of change in voltage, and this type of capacitance is called depletion capacitance, transition capacitance, or space charge capacitance. So, what are the important formula related to that? First. The transition capacitance is given by epsilon naught epsilon r a by w, where w is the depletion width. Epsilon r is relative permittivity. That is nothing but 11.7, or sometimes it is given 12 for silicon. A is the area of cross section. Epsilon naught already I have given the value in the table, and w is the depletion width. Then second thing v j. Junction potential that is given by V naught plus V R. V naught is the built-in potential. V R is the applied voltage in the reverse direction that is given by Q N by two epsilon s. Again, this is the epsilon s means epsilon naught epsilon R. Permittivity of the semiconductor into W square, where N. This is given by one by n is equal to one by n a plus one by n d, or n is given by n a n d upon n a plus n d. 
Na Nd upon Na plus Nd. Now that is the formula. Built in potential means Vt log of Na Nd by Ni square. In number of questions we have to calculate these values. This is for step graded junction. This is for step graded junction. Okay, then normally this W from this we can say the W that is the depletion width is proportional to root over Vj and C is proportional to 1 by W therefore C is proportional to 1 by root over Vj. Therefore, if the we have to find the capacitance then always remember Ct2 by Ct1 is given by root over. V0 plus Vr1 upon V0 plus Vr2 because it is inversely proportional and that is why you will get this ratio. That is why you will get this ratio. With the help of this directly you can solve question. Use this formula. A number of questions on transition capacitance. Okay, then this is the important one. Now, You know, sometimes there is some confusion in Na. Always and always remember if Na is very very greater than Nd, then then N is nearly equal to what Nd. Or if Nd is very very greater than Na, then N is nearly equal to what Na. Always remember a smaller one, smaller one. For example, Na is very very greater than Nd, then Nd is negligible, this Na, this Na cancel and what is the N nearly equal to what? Nd. So, directly you can use this formula. Okay. So, already I have given the IV characteristics that is the eta and germanium for low current, that is for rated current and that is the temperature. All the PDF will be available to you on my telegram channel. Now, I am sharing the my telegram channel link. One minute. Yes, that is electronics by Sanjay Rathi. <coughs> So, I will upload the PDF of analog 1, analog 2, part 1 and part 2 already I have shared the password in second class and then I will upload the EDC ok. And at the last I will give you the password for this PDF that will be the password protected ok. So, that is the formula. This is about the diode. Now, important one that is another one is what diffusion capacitance remember that. When the diode is forward bias, then there is a diffusion capacitance. It is an incremental capacitance defined as the rate of change of injected charge with the voltage called the diffusion or storage capacitance. So, what is the important formula for diffusion capacitance? That is tau g. Tau is the mean lifetime and g is the incremental conductance that is given by tau i by eta vt where I is the current through the diode in forward bias, eta ideality factor and Vt is volt equivalent of temperature tau g, tau i by eta Vt, remember that formula. Okay. Or in a previous formula always remember if the diode is forward bias then this junction potential, if suppose the diode is forward bias. diode is forward biased then the junction potential will become V0 minus Vf that is when we are applying forward voltage that is the Vf then built in potential it will reduce the potential barrier so therefore V0 minus Vf means capacitance will increase. When we are increasing the Vr, 
V naught plus V R. It is inversely proportional. That's why capacitance will decrease. And when we are uh, when we are making it forward bias, so what about the capacitance? Will increase. And that's why we are adding this type of curve. Right. This is the applied voltage. It is in forward bias, it is in reverse bias. When we are increasing in reverse bias, capacitor will decrease. Exactly, there is no biasing, then this is the value of the capacitance. When we are increasing the voltage in forward bias, because of this, the capacitance will increase. Here it is called diffusion capacitance. Here it is called transition capacitance. When the diode is reverse bias, transition capacitance. When the diode is forward bias, it is called diffusion capacitance. Okay, so that is important formula. Right. This one. Varactor diode. Varactor diode means that CT is proportional to what? To 1 by root over Vj. Or that is CT is proportional to Vj raised to power minus 1 by 2. In the reverse bias, Vj is given by V0 plus Vr. So when we are changing the value of voltage, the value of the capacitance will change. And that's why it is called volta cap or variable capacitor or varactor diode. That is the, the equivalent circuit for the varactor diode. Remember, there may be one numerical on that. The symbol for this is a variable capacitor. That is an equivalent because it is reverse bias. The resistance is very, very high. That is in the range of mega ohm. And that is the transition capacitance. RS, it is the resistance of packing material or just when we are connecting the lead. For example, anode and cathode. So that is the because of this connection, it has resistance that is represented by RS. This is called series resistance. It is a very, very small value. So, what is the typical value of this resistance that is written here? 1 mega ohm because the diode is reverse bias. What is the value of the capacitance? 20 picofarad. And what is the value of series resistance? Only 8.5 ohm. Right? So, these are the physical parameters. So sometimes to solve the numericals on that, we have to represent the varactor diode by its equivalent circuit. So remember that it is connected in parallel. Then that is the case. Sometimes we have to find what resonance frequency, this type of questions, integration of what EDC and network. Now my dear friend, BJT, that is all about the PN junction BJT. Basic structure of BJT as you know, this is called emitter, this is called base, thinnest part and that is called collector. Emitter, the doping of the emitter is highest, area of the collector is highest, thinnest part is what? Emitter, uh, sorry base. Since the base is the thinnest part, the resistance is highest because what is the rho? R rho L by A. Area is low, that is why resistance is high. Now, this is called emitter base junction, that is called collector base junction. Symbol for NPN transistor, this one, and that is the symbol for PNP transistor. P type emitter, N type base, P type collector, right? Emitter act as source, collector act as shink. That is the diagram. Mode of operation, cutoff, active, saturation and reverse active. In analog already I have discussed what are the application and what are the properties of common emitter, common collector and common base. Uh, why I have explained that in uh, analog? Because some topics are common in analog and what? In EDC, right? Without getting the basic idea about the properties, we can't solve the question. So already I have given, but you can go through this. What about the emitter base junction, collector base junction, what are the properties and applications? So in cutoff and saturation, it acts as a switch. Normal active mode we are using for amplification or reverse active mode is rarely used for low amplification. No doubt, we are using it, but it is used for low amplification. For example, we are using the uh, that reverse active mode in TTL, that is the transistor-transistor logic. Yes, that is the use. 
now npn transistor in active region npn transistor in active region there are number of current source and so on that is given in this diagram that is the diagram from one standard textbook that is what neiman okay to which formula are important on the basis of this diagram that is emitter injection efficiency factor this is important for electronics student emitter injection efficiency factor that is one minute one minute one minute oh there is some printing mistake that is the emitter injection efficiency factor this is not the case this is the base transport factor okay no doubt misprint One, give me one minute. Yes. Okay. Emitter injection efficiency factor is gamma. And this is base transport factor is alpha T. Now, J and C upon J and E, that is the current density of uh, that is the collector current density upon emitter current density this is because of emitter current because of the electron this is the emitter current because of the electron upon emitter current because of the electron emitter current because of the holes this is called emitter injection efficiency and then this is called recombination factor so that is the total emitter current density jne plus jp this is the jne plus jp plus recombination in emitter base junction so out of these three formula, these two are very very important one. Base transport factor and emitter injection efficiency factor, right? So please remember these two formula. We have to use this to solve some important numericals on that. Base transport factor and this is injection efficiency. Now, uh, early effect that is very very important uh, phenomena in case of what BJT that is also known as base width what is round tube what is the base transport factor you are asking okay try to understand Right, watch this diagram. There is a very small depletion region here in base emitter junction, and there is a depletion layer in a collector depletion region. This junction is forward bias. This is NP. N transistor and this junction is reverse bias. Okay. Now, when we are making it forward bias, large number of hole will move from electron will move from this point to this point. That is called diffusion, and they will constitute emitter current density J N E. At the same time, large number of holes will move from P side from base side to N side and they will constitute emitter current the direction it is in opposite direction and they will constitute J P E and finally this is the emitter current I or when we want to find the density it should be divided by A that is because of electron and that is because of hole now the electron will move some will recombine and the remaining will reach here and they will constitute a collector current density that is given by J and C. So my dear tell me all the electron will reach to the collector or some will recombine in the base. So some electron will recombine in the base and that is why the J and C is always less than J and E and that is called transportation factor. This point is clear. Okay. That is base transport factor. Second one, what is the emitter injection efficiency? 
एमीटर करेंट इज बिकॉज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन एज वेल एज होल्स बट इलेक्ट्रॉन विल कंट्रीब्यूट इन कलेक्टर करेंट द करेंट ड्यू टू होल विल नॉट कंट्रीब्यूट एंड दैट्स वाई वॉट इज द इंजेक्शन एफिशियंसी जे एन ई इट विल कंट्रीब्यूट इन कलेक्टर करेंट बट वॉट इज द टोटल एमीटर करेंट जे पी बिकॉज ऑफ होल्स प्लस बिकॉज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट इज कॉल्ड एमीटर इंजेक्शन एफिशियंसी ओके गाइज नॉट इज क्लियर नो अगेन वी आर हैविंग द मोर करेंट हियर तो वॉट अबाउट द सम करेंट सम करेंट विल बिकॉज ऑफ रिकॉम्बिनेशन इन दिस रीजन when we are considering the recombination the emitter base junction then we have to give the formula for this one that is called recombination factor here jr recombine jne plus jp upon jne plus jr plus jpe so did it complete it will constitute the emitter current which out of this jne and jp is uh, usable jne and jp only jne is usable and out of jne only jnc will reach to what collector region that is the ratio and then overall alpha we can find the overall alpha normally it is given in the question that is the product of these three right alpha t into what gamma into what delta product of these three i think now round tube it is clear okay right then early effect early effect means simply because of this early effect when this collector junction is more and more reverse biased with the help of this vcb when we are increasing the vcb the collector junction is more and more reverse biased the depletion width increases and the increase in the depletion width is called early effect or base width modulation right to base uh, that is jr is nothing but recombination is what emitter base junction recombination in emitter base junction that is given here and they will constitute a extra current right jr new hole electron pair will generated here then again recombination and they will constitute uh, they will contribute in the emitter current actually we are measuring the emitter current but emitter current is divided into three part one is jnc uh, jpe jne and what jr right that is the recombination in this junction so normally that is not given in the question uh, they will give you the idea about the base transport factor or emitter injection efficiency if it is given then we can consider it right then early effect so when we are increasing the vcb depletion layer increases recombination will decreases because when the depletion layer increases in the base depletion layer means there is no mobile charge carrier exist if no mobile charge carrier exist means simply recombination will reduce then more electron will reach to collector junction when more electron will reach to collector junction definitely the collector current will increase collector current will increase remember in case of npn transistor collector current inside emitter current outside base current inside that is the direction of the collector current base current and emitter current so what is the early effect simply when vcb increases collector junction more reverse bias depletion width increases effective base width where recombination occur decreases recombination decreases and because of this alpha increases when <coughs> alpha increases ic increases but base current decreases this is the early effect right now <coughs> so what is the effect of this remember that because of the early fact we are having elevated curve like this in common emitter characteristics we are having elevated curve and so this is the value okay 
that is the different values of IB, that is the VC and this is the IC. And that is elevated. When we are extending, all will meet at a point. This is called early phase. This is minus VA. VA is called early voltage. With the help of this, we can find the R0. This is given by VA upon ICQ. Right. And then normally we are having the formula for IC is equal to I0 e raised to power VBE upon VT in case of transistor. Remember that I0 upon e raised to power VBE upon VT. That is the formula for collector current when the emitter junction is forward bias. But when we are considering the early effect, it will become IC is equal to I0 e raised to power VBE upon VT into 1 plus VCE upon VA. That is, we have to multiply it. And this is the with considering the early effect, it is a without early effect. These two are the important formula in electronic devices and circuit. They will give you the value of VBE, reverse saturation current, VT, you have to find the IC. Then with the help of this IC, you can find the or if the early effect is given, then you have to multiply it with what 1 plus VCE by VA. Then we can find the formula for IC. Second, in active reason, IC is equal to 1 plus beta times of ICU. No problem. Beta IB plus 1 plus beta times of ICU. It is also applicable. IC is equal to alpha I plus ICU. Alpha I plus ICU. These are the two formula. Normally, we are saying that that is for common emitter and that is for what common base. But remember, we can use both equation depend on each other. Because what is alpha? Alpha is equal to beta upon 1 plus beta. And what is the beta? Alpha upon 1 minus alpha. Right? And that is the value. Beta IB 1 plus beta ICO and alpha I plus ICO. This is the formula. Both are valid for active reason. Beta is called large signal current gain for common emitter. Alpha is called large signal current gain for common base. Okay, any doubt? Please ask me. Up to this point, any doubt? Okay. There is another important uh, current that is when base is open. Base is open means when the base current is zero. There is a current from collector to emitter when the base is open. That current is given by I C E O. I C E O that is the current from collector to emitter when base is open. So when we are making the base open means IB will become 0 that is nothing but 1 plus beta times of ICO. So this is nothing but I C E O. So from this formula you can say I C E O is nothing but 1 plus beta times of what ICO? 1 plus beta times of ICO. There is a another current when emitter current is zero. Emitter current is zero means emitter is open. Then there is a current from collector to base, and that current is this one. This is called ICBO. Current from collector to base when emitter is open. 
करंट फ्रॉम करेक्टर टू बेस वन एमीटर इज ओपन तो फ्रॉम सेकेंड फॉर्मूला इफ सपोज आई एम मेकिंग द आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो तो वॉट इज दिस आई सी बी ओ तो वॉट इज द आई सी बी ओ इज इक्वल टू आई सी ओ और वेन आई एम मेकिंग आई बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो आई सी ओ आई सी ओ इज इक्वल टू दिस इज जीरो प्लस वॉट वन प्लस बीटा टाइम्स ऑफ आई सी ओ दैट इज द डिफरेंस तो आई सी बी ओ इज नथिंग बट आई सी ओ रिवर्स सेचुरेशन करेंट वेन द कलेक्टर जंक्शन इज रिवर्स बायस तो इट मीन डायरेक्टली यू कैन से दैट आई सी ओ इज ग्रेटर देन वॉट आई सी बी ओ वन प्लस बीटा टाइम्स ऑफ दैट तो समटाइम्स वी आर यूजिंग दैट फॉर्मूला एंड देर इज अन अनदर रिलेशन बिटवीन द आई सी बी ओ एंड आई सी ओ दिस इज फॉर आइडियल ट्रांजिस्टर बट फॉर प्रैक्टिकल ट्रांजिस्टर आई सी बी ओ इज स्लाइटली ग्रेटर देन आई सी ओ ICBO is slightly greater than ICO because of avalanche multiplication. In a reverse bias junction, always there is the avalanche multiplication, and because of that, reverse saturation current increases. So, in a theory, we are not considering. It is a theoretical reverse saturation current. It is a practical reverse saturation current. And second one is surface leakage current. Always there is a some current through the surface. So ICBO is slightly greater than ICO. So practically, we can arrange ICO is very very greater than ICBO, or ICBO is slightly greater than what ICO, or ideally these two are equal. So number of questions on this formula. Okay. Okay then. So this is about the transistor. Now we have to arrange one more session on that. Okay. In next session. already the properties and the values that is already uh, i have uh, given in what analog so in next session we will start with what field effect transistor that is fet field effect transistor that is fet or mosfet metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor here we will discuss what all the important formula and then after that mos capacitor all the different modes accumulation mode depletion mode right and inversion mode junction capacitance we will discuss what are the important formula for the all the capacitance and so on so that is about this topic and now my dear friends already we have discussed the number of properties and so on the password is properties for ppt okay properties so all the properties are all in small letters i will upload the pdf on my telegram channel that is electronics by sanjay prati okay so thank you for attending the session you are on byju's exam prep please like the session subscribe our channel and share the link of this session thank you very much and again happy diwali thank you